what's going on everybody this is island hopper tv hotels coming to you from villa tomasa alona q white beach resort here in Panglao, which is bahol philippines central visayas lots of information to put out right lots and lots but yeah this is alona q this is one of two entrances there's actually one along the beach I'm just gonna go up here real quick after I wipe down my shoes real quick. Show you up top here. So there's some rooms that have pool views, some rooms that have just no views. And there's rooms here, Our lobby, hallways. So yeah, this is just one area the alona q they really did build kind of a palace here in pang lao take you in the direction of my room reception morning hello sir more rooms I've actually stayed on this level before. It's my second time staying here. I stayed here once in January 2020, right before the big event went into full throttle. So the pool is closed here. There's two pools though. I'll also show you along Alona Beach because that's going to be part of your experience here. So if you're staying in this building here, it's going to feel different than if you're staying over in these middle cottages. By the way, if you guys love hotel tours, you should subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want to see more hotels that I've stayed at, villas, luxury resorts, cheap hotels, $14 a night hotels. I've done all of it here in Philippines so far. Been here about three weeks, I wanna say. You should uh, watch some more of our Philippines videos. Get an idea of what to expect with the rooms and the hotels. So here's another pool. See, it's totally different structure over here than what you even have here and here compared to the lobby. Big property here. I'm looking to change hotels today though. I want to see another hotel in the area. Maybe not on the beach, maybe up on a mountain. The only problem with the beach here that I've experienced is the, uh, the noise. It gets quite loud actually. And it, it's not just the people, it's the music. So, my room is actually here. They've got breakfast in a bar right downstairs. Or Tomasa. So, I'm not going to go in there, but. Morning, ma'am. Just looking. Buffet. Very big breakfast hall. I'm not going to spend too much time showing you around here because it's quite crowded right now. I'll show you a room, the room at the end. Make you wait a little bit. But yeah, so let me take you along Alona Beach here and give you a little bit of information. So last night we had a huge thunderstorm. Not just a rainstorm, but a thunderstorm. Lightning and everything, right? With lightning comes thunder. And power went out a couple times. And that killed all the internet and everything. Hello. My cell phone signal doesn't work so good. So it was basically two hours without any sort of 
signal, which is good if you're trying to relax, right? But not good if you're trying to work. And in my case, I hadn't edited any videos for a while and I was filling up to the task. But I had no internet. Anyways, it was still a positive experience. After the storm came, I walked along here at like 11 o'clock. And most of the people had already gone in, but around sunset, this whole area is just crowded. Music blaring here, music blaring here at this bar. Totally different than what it looks like right now at 8.30 in the morning. Also, all these little boats you see right here, they'll take you to the islands like Bali Kasag. Also do a lot of snorkel over there. There's another island over there. There's Virgin Island. Many different islands here. This bar, the Luna Lounge or whatever it is, is probably the most popular place at night. It's probably the most popular place for sure. And you have the restaurants here. Pyramid Beach Resort. So you can see the location is just prime time. The room is actually good too. I mean, it has a desk and everything. A typical tour leaves at like 7 in the morning. So you'd be riding out on one of those and then I think they go out again at like 9. And if you're wondering the type of tourists that get here, typically they're Europeans or Koreans. They actually have like two or three flights from South Korea to here. Koreans are definitely a chill group of people, like no problem whatsoever. Like as far as like traveling alongside Koreans, it's really <laughs> a good thing. They're friendly, they're gentle, easygoing. And then the Europeans, they're a bit more rowdy, I noticed. They're a little bit louder. But yeah, so... They, you have people swimming here, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best beach for swimming. Although when the beach is up here, it's it's good. But like when it's low, low tide like that, it's kind of seaweed and not so appetizing. But once the water's up here, you swim right here, it's perfect. This is Alona Beach. The other one is Dumoulin. So I'll show you the room now, and then I'll give you my final review. Okay, so here's a look at the room. Got a TV. I've already uh, slept here, checking out now. And uh, yeah, just showing you what it is. This is after I've already stayed here, by the way. Let's look at the shower. You know, you gotta show the shower here because you never know what you're gonna get. And then here's a view, looking down. Yeah, I mean, it, obviously when it's checking in, it's a lot cleaner than it is after you've already stayed here. But here it is. So my final review of Alona Q is for under $100, it's a great deal because of the location and the quality of the room. The only big concern that I had was the power cuts out. Customer service is probably a three out of five. It could be better. The staff kind of doesn't really know what's going on. You'll check in, there'll be four people standing there and only one, one person's able to check you in. And the other three people are kind of like, oh. <laughs> so I would say they could use a little bit more improvement on customer service. Still friendly, just not quite where you would think it would be for a hotel of that uh, prestige. The room quality I would say is a four. Bed's the only thing that's kind of holding it back. Everything else is good. Shower's all right. But uh, location is a five. I mean, it's a five location. So overall, I would have to rank it probably a 4.5 star resort. Could be higher if the customer service and the bed was a little bit better. Other than that, it's a good, good deal. I would say $150 a night easily worth it but here by Alona standards where the ch cheap hotels are everywhere probably a hundred and twenty dollar a night hotel so enjoy see you on the next one
If you enjoyed this one and want to see more hotel tours from across the islands and Philippines, watch the recommended video and watch next video.